country roads Take me home to the place I belong West Virginia, Mountain Mama Take me home country Hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 76 We are here in camp just outside of Flatwoods and uh, we were just attacked by robots a little while ago and John slept through the entire thing. So, but I think we need to wake him up now because it's morning, the sun's just coming up and we need to get a head start on the day. John, hey, wake up, wake up, John, hey. Ugh. Is it is it morning already? Yes, I know you didn't get much sleep. Oh. Sorry, but oh, looks it, looks nice out. It's a nice day. Yeah, um, why is there a robot by our tent? They just came and started shooting at me, so I killed them. <laughs> Uh, I didn't hear anything. Uh, I know. I know. It's kind of crazy. You were, you were kind of... Sorry about that. Yeah. So, we need to get going. I, I think we need to get... I don't know. Let me, let me... So, the Overseer recommends that we become volunteers for the responders and get some basic training... I guess they train in survival. I don't know if I need that. Okay. You might could stand it and have some more. <laughs> well, I apparently need to learn how to wake up when there's combat going on. Yes. All right, so <clears throat> why don't you pack up camp? I'm going to scout around a little bit. All right. So you, um, I guess we, we join in that church, right? Or in that uh, thing that crosses the street from the church? Oh, no. Um, yeah, I think I think there was a sign with um, two hands up outside that, uh, outside, I guess that was a diner, maybe? Okay. Hold um, on, I see one of those zombies walking around over here. Okay. Just going to kill it there. You all right? No, yeah, I, I killed it from... It didn't see me. Okay. Just gotta make sure there's no, no, no other ones around. Oh, there's another one. It's sleeping. I see, like, a smoke signal. Over here. It's like a... Okay. Coming from over by the road. I don't know. Oh, there you are. You see it? We should go check, I do. Out, check out what that is. Okay. These zombie things like to hang out in these tents. What? Don't they? U.S. government supply requisition. What is that? Upload government supply requisition holotape. All right. Um, we can s request a supply drop from any operational radio relay, but we have to repair the terminal. Huh. Where's that at? <clears throat> oh, that's just north of us. I think we should do that. Okay. Where'd you go? I'm in the tent here. Oh. Let's go check out what the smoke signal is, though. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, look. Here's some more crops. These, like, tomato things. I'm gonna pick them. We can... Um, I made Are they some... radiated? Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. But I made some juice with them yesterday. Here's another dead body. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's like a big crate. 
Government aid drop. I got some rat away and a pulp action pistol. Hmm. Interesting. Wonder where that came from. Is that one of those government supply drops that that thing was talking about? Maybe. I guess so. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go down here and <clears throat> see what these responder people have to teach us. Okay. At this point, I'll take all the help I can get. Oh, this is one of those three-headed opossums. Oh, they have they have six legs and three. Oh, that thing is disgusting. Okay. Tails? They have three tails, oh and six legs, and three heads. Okay. Now, did you look at this terminal yesterday? I, I forgot to look. Yeah, it had something about a uh, uh, person's database on there where you could look people up. Um, it looked like it was a list of maybe the trainers for the responders. Okay. Register as a volunteer. Okay. Report to responder Keisha McDermott. Oh, right. I remember you saying something about that. And we were going to try to find where she's at. Where is she at? Yep. There's a there's a database of the responders in there that has their addresses. Oh. People directory. Flatwoods River. Okay. That doesn't that's kind of vague. <laughs> She's on yeah. the river somewhere. Let's see. Well, what went wrong in here? There are dead bodies everywhere. Right. Well, remember yesterday we were thinking that some of these people, these people were killed by somebody. Because this guy's stabbed by pool cues. What are you doing? Yep. Killing one of those opossums. Oh, why? Um, because they're ugly. There's a settler thrown in a trash can out here. Because they're ugly. There's a big two-headed cow walking up behind you. <laughs> okay. Right. Search for her along the river. Let me, let me, let me look at the map. So that's like just okay. a little bit this way, I guess. Let's go see okay. if she's there. She's probably not. Nobody's here. Nobody's anywhere. I know. Oh, and you know what? We need to get food because I'm almost out. Well, we could try to cook that opossum thingy I just killed. Yuck. The thing looks really diseased. It does. It looks horrible. Um. All right, we got gunfire. And it looks like she's dead. So, Is that her? Yeah. Water testing kit. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories okay. for posterity. Seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha McDermott. Okay, I don't... When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka. She's talking about... Okay, she has a holotape where she's talking about her story. But I don't really want to listen to it. She has a water testing kit. Okay. So, te so we need to test a water sample. Test the just grab one here out of the river? I guess so. Okay. Alright, I grabbed three just in case. 
So the water's contaminated. No, no, really? <laughs> I I knew that already. <laughs> yeah. You you know that just from wearing a Geiger counter when you're walking through it. Okay. Mm hmm We need to test a sample mm -hmm. of water from a pump as well. It's getting fun. You know, that's interesting you say that. Um, this poor lady who died here, she does not have a pit boy. So she probably didn't know it was radiated. Oh. Well, right, they don't have pit boys because they weren't uh, vault dwellers. These, these, these are the people who survived the bombs. Um, really? The, the pit boys were only for people in vaults? They weren't, nobody had them outside the vault? Uh uh. Well, that's kind of interesting. I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> so. Well, no, I mean, I've had one since I was born. I just assumed everybody had one. No, not outside the vaults. Okay, so Boy, these a... cows are freaky. This looks like a little gar garden. Yeah, there is a little garden. Yeah, that's what we found this last night. Okay, here's a pump. I will test a sample from the pump. See if it's... I already know it's contaminated because I, I, <laughs> I got some water from this pump last night. Uh oh, look up behind you. John. Nope. Ah. Oh, what is that? <laughs> Those God, those rats. things are so ugly. Okay, yeah. That's a mole rat. I, I shall dub them mole rats because they look like moles and rats. <laughs> Alright. I shall dub them ugly. <laughs> so now I, I need they're to... ugly 2.0 because opossums are ugly too. Yeah, they are. So now that we need to right, analyze the results in her lab. Where's her lab at? Uh, there was a, uh, analyzed terminal in the church. Oh, okay. There's a big sign. Okay, well, let's go do that, then. Uh, and ready? somehow this is going to help us find the overseer. I, I, don't, I, know, I don't know why right. she wanted us to do this. I guess... <laughs> she, she, well, I guess anybody else probably would benefit from it, because... You know, everybody didn't have as much training as I did in survival, so, I mean, everyone didn't come to my classes, even though they were supposed to. Oh, right, I did see a lab up here earlier. Yeah. Analyze. Okay, so it's dirty and it has severe d disease chance. It's not significantly improved since the last sample from the same coordinates. Are they trying to were they trying to improve the water? Boil the water. Well, I don't know how you boil a whole stream. That doesn't make any sense. No. <laughs> were they just hoping that it would get better over time? Maybe, well, yeah, I mean, imagine it would get better over time, just because it's, a. Uh, you know, time passes, and... Yeah. Okay, so... Alright, I'll boil some water just for the heck of it. Well, I actually do need some. Okay. Boil water. I'm going to make some juice too while I'm at it. Out of these tomato things. Yeah. Okay. Where are you? I'm back here at this chemistry lab. I'm boiling some water. Okay. I am going to check back in at the self-serve kiosk. Check okay. I'll be right there. Steps. 
I must complete. We must complete one more experiment for the responders to become a full volunteer. Report okay. to responder Delbert Winters for further instructions. Find Delbert Winters in Flatwoods. Right. There is nobody here. I know. He's probably dead too. Here he is. Where's Delbert Winters at? He runs the Flatwoods kitchens in potluck and trains the survivors in food supply. 21 Bridge Street at his house. Okay. <clears throat> so we need to find 21 Bridge Street and. Oh. And, um. There you are. I don't know this town, so I, I don't, don't know where Bridge Street is. I don't either. Well, um, I'm assuming it would be near a bridge. <laughs> Alright. Maybe. Oh, did you check out this uh, supply sign over here? Where? Where are you at? Right behind you. There's a big sign that su says supplies. Oh. Oh, you know what? This is where you were working on your armor the other day. I'm sorry, you did check this out. Yesterday, yes. Okay, we can go. Sorry, I forgot about that. Okay. Well. What's this? Um, is this it? John, you coming? I'm right behind you. This structure right here? Yeah, I think this is it right here. Okay. There's mold growing on the ceiling. Oh, oh gross. Dark in here. Um, I doubt anybody lives here. It doesn't look lived in. Does it? Well, somebody probably lived here. Oh, uh, yeah. He lived here. He's not alive anymore. There's a recipe here on this nightstand. Um, Delbert's Sunshine Oil. Delbert. So this is probably Delbert's. Yeah, no, I found him. I found him. He's back here. He's dead. Oh, alright. Well, why am I not surprised? Reverend Delbert Winters here. He was a reverend. Raised in this very town. Met my own church to the responders for their outpost here. And, uh, you're welcome. Oh, he was the, the, he was the reverend of the church. True mission, you see. Helping and he lent it to the responders. Until the heavens open up again and take us all up anyway. Huh. You know, when this all happened, I figured like most, okay. it was time. This was the end. Get some but meat from one of the local cows, it toss it on the fire until it stops We're oozing. <laughs> At first, I thought That's our next mistake. <laughs> we was missed, forgotten. Maybe we did so Well, that long. sounds, uh, I guess, easy enough. Charity, maybe. Didn't praise his name. So maybe thought some things that ought not to been thought. So I asked him. I asked how. Why? So this guy rambles a lot. Okay. I'm, just, I'm gonna turn that off. He has a very okay. long diary written on that on that computer. I'm not going to read it. Okay. Well, or maybe I should. It might describe excuse me. It might describe what's gone on. Okay, he talks about the war. He talks about the responders. He volunteered for them. Mm, he's... <clears throat> 
he's noticing that some of the animals are being born different. And that the, the, the new cows are starting to be born with two heads. He said the weird cows are born more often than not. Huh. Okay. He's he's done some some experiments on the vegetation that's changing. Okay. He's talking about people who are coming and wanting uh, their supplies. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, he mostly just... Okay. No, he doesn't talk about what happened here. It must have happened suddenly and okay. he didn't have a chance to write about it. Hmm. Well, it looks like he died at his terminal. Yeah. Because there's an overturned chair and he's right there. Well, he did talk about some people who came and demanded that they give him stuff. I wonder if those people got violent. That's what it looks like. I, I think that's what it looks like here. So we're supposed to kill one of these cows and cook its meat. Well, I guess I'm for that. Um... Since we do need some meat, I guess I'll shoot it in one of its heads. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's plenty for both of us on here. I have. Good. Uh... Okay. Well, um, where's that cooking? Oh, there's one over here. It's back here. It's a... There's one over here, too. There's a fire by these tents. Okay. I'm gonna run in here real quick. Ribeye I steak. saw some salt and pepper. I'm gonna make some of that bean soup again as well while I'm here, since I, I, I've been collecting okay. some beans. There. Okay. I am actually pretty hungry. I'm gonna... Uh, whoops. Are you gonna try it? I'm gonna try it. Um... <laughs> it was called the uh, ribeye steak. Yeah. Huh. Tastes like. Tastes like steak. What steak? I don't think we ever had that in the vault. Well, kind of like a Salisbury steak. That's, you know, did you know uh, Salisbury okay. steak? This was made out of cows. Did you know that? Uh, I always kind of thought they were little packaged tray thingies. I had no idea. <laughs> we didn't have cows in the vault. I mean, so how? All right. So I never thought about that. How old was that Salisbury steak I used to eat in the restaurant, the cafe? Well, considering that all of the food right. was put in there before the war, it, <laughs> it was kind of old. Okay. All right. I didn't need. I I didn't need to start thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you said it tastes good, huh? Uh huh. Okay. So. All right. I'll try it. I'm a volunteer now. Contact the responders using the database. Okay. So now we can contact. Okay. That's why she wanted us to do this because we couldn't contact them without becoming a volunteer somehow. Huh? Maybe? Uh, apparently not. We didn't have an option to do it until just now. Oh, that's in the church. Okay. I'm gonna go into the church and see what there is in there. 
there's a computer in there, I think, that we could probably use to contact them. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> log in. Right. I couldn't log in um, to this computer unless I was a volunteer. Contact responders HQ. Alright. Um... All right. Investigate Morgantown Airport. Urgent message. A large horde of scorched... Scorched? Huh. Is on the move and might be headed for our main base at Morgantown Airport. All personnel are requested to report to HQ as soon as possible. Bring weapons and medical supplies. Okay, so their... Their HQ is at Morgantown Airport. Okay. So I'm not sure exactly where's where Morgantown that is. Airport. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna ask you. Where's you at? John, where'd you go? Pardon me? Where'd you go? Are you chasing cows? What are you I'm doing? I'm trying to get another I'm chasing this cow. Why? Because <laughs> that steak was pretty good. I thought I'd make another one to take with us on the road. Okay. I have a bunch of soup for you, too. Oh, awesome. Okay. Sorry. You were busy working around with the uh, responders. So you know where we need to go? <clears throat> uh, no, I haven't looked at my map yet. Yeah, no, I need to look at my map to see where Morgantown Airport is. Oh, it's quite a ways north of here. That's a long walk. Uh, I guess we better get started. Okay. Um, I probably we should take the highway. So we follow this road up until we get to the highway, and we get on that, and it'll take us right up to Morgantown if we stay on the highway. Okay. Alright, well, let's go. Do we have enough food? Oh, I was going to give you some soup. You want some soup? Um, uh, that's not a bad idea. What? That is not a bad idea. Okay. Um bean soup. Oh, I only have two. Well, I'll give you one. Okay. I had- I ate some of them. Well, actually, here, I'll give them both to you since I ate- I ate all of- I ate all of it. Okay. Oh, there's another possum. They sure are prevalent around here, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. Alright, let's- let's head out. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. This is going to be a long walk. Hopefully a relatively safe one. Are we well. supposed to be going... You're headed south. Aren't we supposed to be going north? Oh. Am I going the wrong way? Yes, I am sorry. I think so. <laughs> oh, there's some more beans. I'm going to pick these beans whenever we can, because they actually make a pretty good soup, don't they? Yes, they do. It's so eerie here with nobody in nobody around, isn't it? Okay. I wonder if we shouldn't be looking inside some of these houses for supplies. Oh. Yeah, that's some, not a bad idea. There's some ammo in this one. Oh, awesome. And the recipe. Steeped Strangler Bloom Tea. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> Somebody was cooking squirrel bits in here. Spices and salt. Deathclaw well, Wellington? That might help. I found a recipe called Deathclaw Wellington. That doesn't sound like something I would like to encounter. A Deathclaw? Ooh, a clock. I could probably get some... Some parts from that to improve our weapons. What's they got in their fridge? Some pork and beans. That might be 
useful. You alright? There's a giant cockroach in here. It's like... Okay, I killed it. Okay, I found... Ooh, a safe. Oh, this is kind of sad. I found a funeral parlor where people are, like, leaving notes for uh, their loved ones. Like, post-war? Yeah. Oh. Oh, there you are. Remember I didn't them. find anything useful, but it's all pretty sad. Guess book. Huh. Okay. The last entry in the guest book is Grieving is not very productive. Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Lucas sounds like an angry young thing. That's weird. We don't need to grieve because nobody really died. They're just different now. <laughs> I just hope everybody's okay in the vaults. Well, we were until they kicked us out. I know, right? Not that I'm bitter or anything. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, but I mean, come on, it was it was a lot more comfortable in the vault than it is out here. Oh wow! I never had to sleep in the ground in yes, the vault. Yes, I know, right? Sure. Am I sounding spoiled yet? No. No. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> okay, I think we're on the right right road. Let me double check my map real quick. Yeah, no. No? Well... We were going the right way when I was going the right way. And you made us turn around and go the wrong way, John. <laughs> oh, did I? Yes! You confused me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you doing listening to me anyway? I don't know what I'm doing out here. We're heading toward the Highway 59. Come on. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Thank you. All right, I'll just follow. I'll be quiet and I'll follow. Where'd you go? Oh, you left without me. All right. Fine. I didn't leave without you. I said, let's go, and you didn't follow me. <laughs> I'm still looking at my map. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, dear. Oh. We got some more of those zombies over here. I'm gonna just All shoot right. them right now. Oh, I think I went too high on that one. I think you enjoy this a little too much. You're starting to worry me. What? Enjoy what? Shooting things. I do like to shoot things. I liked shooting things before the war. I used to go hunting all the well, time. I guess that's true. Oh. All right. Yeah, you can shoot anything that chases us going blah. <laughs> you rule. <sighs> you know what we should... Oh, this is one of those gross looking mushrooms. <clears throat> All kinds of little gadgets in here. I don't know if any of this stuff is useful. Yes, I think some of the stuff would be useful. Is some oil? Because we're gonna need to improve our guns some more. Oh, duct tape. Duct tape <laughs> is always useful. And aluminum. Aluminum is good. Okay. <clears throat> Anything behind the counter there? Um, I picked up a pipe wrench. I didn't know if that was going to be useful or not. Well, I guess you could hit something with it. 
<laughs> Corn. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Um, I think this is the highway. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Oh, there's a robot up there. So, so far... Is he giving you trouble? Oh, I don't think he sees me. <clears throat> no. No, he's not. Okay. It's hard to tell. Some of them are friendly and some of them are not friendly. Alright, well, if he's not shooting at me, I don't need to shoot at him. No, that's definitely Are we on the highway you wanted to be on? No. The highway we want to be on is up there. That bridge. That bridge. Oh my goodness. How do we get up there? Well, you know what? We could follow the railroad track as well. Oh, something's shooting at us. No. That robot is shooting oh, at he's mole shooting rats. It's mole rats. Well, let's well, let him do that. Let's, let's <laughs> yep. You know what? Um, yeah, I don't know how we're going to get up there. That looks pretty steep. Let's just follow this road for now. Okay. It parallels... Oh, it, it parallels... Uh, the highway for a little ways. So we'll be good. There's another robot. You know what? starting to get late. Uh-oh. Oh, there's one of those... Uh, I caught a bunch of them. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Don't get too close. Those things have nasty claws. Okay. I got scratched by one yesterday, and that was not nice. John, are you... Okay. There we go. Thank you. I've been trying to save my ammunition, but... There's another... Yeah. I guess when you gotta use your gun, you gotta use your gun. I think it's better to use a gun on these guys. I don't want them to get too close. Yeah. I found another... You're right. ...government supply requisition mm. hollow tape. So now I have two of those. We should, uh... Of course, we're going in the wrong direction for that. We should have maybe done that first, but now it's too late, because... The uh, the relay tower is northwest of us, on the other side of town. Oh, yeah, we're way far away. Yeah, <clears throat> maybe if we. But ever... I'm looking at my map. I think, I think you're right. I think we can follow this road because it joins up with 59 up to the north. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Or we could also follow the railroad track because it goes up up to there to Morgantown too. Oh, that's a good idea. So either one, I think we're good going this direction. Okay. But it's getting dark. We're gonna have sunset. Yep. It's sunset. We're gonna have darkness here pretty soon. I. We might should start looking for a place to camp. Okay. Somewhere off the road. There's though. a. Huh? Okay. Why don't we get to the top of this hill? Maybe it'll level out and we'll find a good spot. Okay. You know what? I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of glad that the world isn't completely destroyed. I, 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 to be honest, you know, when, when we heard what, what was going on out here with all the bombs dropping and everything, I, I, I thought for sure this place would be rubble when we came out. Right. But it's in fairly good condition, considering. Well, I was, yeah, I mean, they, you know, all those survival classes that you did talked about, you know, how <clears throat> radiation can kill you in a day. And yeah. we've been out here, we've been out here for a while, and, I mean, I've taken some rads, but... Yeah, not to build don't have an extra right? arm or anything. <laughs> right. Yeah. Here's a flat spot, maybe up here. Oh. Oh yeah. Kind of. Yeah, there'd, there'd probably be room for maybe it may be room for a tent up here. I don't know. 
Yeah, probably right where you're standing. You want me to try it there? Yeah, or over here. This this area is probably too small, but I don't know. You can try it. I'll I'll do some more scouting around a little bit, and um, if it doesn't work there, okay, maybe I can find another spot. Okay. Um, let me take a look at the map. I don't want to get too far away from where we're headed. What's this? There's some kind of thing up this road. I can see some buildings up right there. I suppose we could always camp just right on the railroad track. What is that? Is that a train station? Oops. Looks like there might well, be a... This spot that you found is pretty nice. Is it working? There's enough room? Yeah, I think... I think it... Yeah, and we've got a wall behind us. Kind of protects us from that direction. Oh. Well, it's kind of floaty looking. We don't have it on the ground. Maybe yeah. pull it this way a little I'm bit. I'm working with it here. No, like pull it this yeah. way. Okay. Yep. Oh, there's something up on the hill pull over it there. Back over here. No, turn it so that the door is facing this way, but pull it forward toward this hole a little bit more. All right. Oh yeah, that might work. How's that? Maybe a little further toward the okay. hole. I'm just yeah. Too bad this log is here because it would fit over here so much better. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's not bad. If you put the fire over here. Okay. And then, uh, yeah. I'm gonna have some water. Did I? Not see water? No, I didn't. Maybe do that. Looks good. Yeah. All right. Grab our sleeping bags here. Oh wow, nice view though. Well, except for the This is actually lines. quite a bit better than the last one we had. The last one had all that undergrowth that we had to kinda Yeah. Work around. There's some buildings up on the right. hill over there across the way and up uh, up the hill, just just up the hill from us there's some more buildings. I don't know if we should go check them out. We might find supplies, you know? Okay. So, looks good. Yeah. All right. Well, I think we should probably Ooh. check them out. I'd be interested in checking out that train station and the buildings tomorrow morning. Yes. Let us do that. It's getting dark pretty quick, though. I so, know. I guess... You should probably take the first watch again, just because we already have that right. schedule going. Yep. Otherwise, uh, I won't get much sleep. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm nowhere near ready for sleep. I've just got, it feels like I kind of just got up. Alrighty. Uh, so, you want to grab bites to eat and then turn in, and uh, well, I will wake you in a while. I'm still full from that steak I had, so I have... Some steak left, and hopefully it's still good tomorrow or later tonight. I guess it'll probably last that long at least. I don't think we should okay. try eating it after that. Unless we want to get right. poisoned. I have a can of pork and beans, and... Um, that's about it. Some squirrel bits, whatever that is. Somebody was cooking it in their house, and I took it. <laughs> Well, I cooked up some of that uh, that two-headed deer. Again, I mean, I've been cooking some of this stuff, but I don't know if I want to eat it or not. But I've got the, I still have the dog food. Uh, and then a couple of 
the uh, rad, those uh, two-headed deers. I got a couple of, I guess you'd call those steaks. And then uh, I've got some of the bean soup that you gave me. Um, and then I found a beer, if you want a, if you want a beer. Um, I have some beer, <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. All right, well, I think it's going to just be an ever... An ever present concern is to find food until right. you can find the people who maybe have a, a big store of it. But while we're on our own, we're going to be looking for right. food all the time. All right, well, I'm right. going to hit the hay and um, uh, oh, I forgot to turn off my light. Uh, well, that's going to keep you awake. No, I turned it off. Okay. Oh, all right. Are you going to wake me in like, what, four hours or so? Whoa. Sounds good. We're not going to get much yeah. sleep around here, <laughs> are we? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm telling you, I am missing the uh, vault with its walls and its nice warm bed. And uh, it's eight hours of uh, sleep at night. Yeah, me too. We're going to be zombies soon, at this rate. Alright, well, yep. good night. Wake me if there's any trouble. Will do. Good night, Karen. Good night. <laughs>